and television fans have been taking too many L's lately. That's not a good thing. We need a balance of power so we can keep the discussions going, guys. It's never a good thing when you have too many people on one side and not enough people on the other, right? If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me. Let's talk. Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Genesis Gamer. Thank you for subscribing. I thought I'd give you something for the weekend here, for the holiday weekend. Guys, people that are atop of the company right now, their goals might not be the goals of the average and television fan, right? The average and television fan, the average Amico fan, what they want is the console. Let me tell you from a business perspective, that probably is the worst thing you could do at this moment given the situation of contracts, contractual situation that the company is in, right? But what could you do, right? What could you help the company with right now while this, they're going through this turmoil? Well, the one thing you could do is start changing its image, right? The publicity for this company have been, has been atrocious, right? And what other companies have seen, and let's look at it, like always, from a business perspective, what could you do, right? What could you do? Where did Intellivision go wrong? And I made a video about this a very long time ago, but basically what you have to do is you have to take the Shadow Legends approach, right? Let me tell you this. You need a new spokesperson, and nobody would be better than John Hancock, the man that has been running a failed project for twice the amount of time than television has, right? When it comes to that, as far as earning interest for, for donations and fundraising that has never been spent on a project, John Hancock said, hold my beer. <laughs> and nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody benefited as much from Tommy Tallarico coming on the scene than John Hank Hancock. If you remember, this guy was tracking channels. As a matter of fact, I believe he's even struck Smash JT. Uh, he was uh, just shielded from all criticism from all the other Patreon pimps out there. As a matter of fact, the only reason, right, this guy felt some heat is because whatever you think of Rich of you, Review Tech USA, he's the only one that really called him out, right? And he was just crushing him. And the only reason Hancock did anything is because that was such a larger channel, right? And in the end, what happened? All the Patreon pips called Rich, hey, you know, you better let our boy go. Get him out of, <laughs> get him out of jail. Tell, him, tell everybody to give him another chance, right? And that's how that was rectified. What does that tell you? This guy is Teflon, right? This guy has been running this, this failed project for so many years and there's so many testimonies from people that have donated games and had interactions with them that, uh, you know, like I said, nobody really is better than <laughs> anybody that eBangs is no better than DSP. But what does this do, right? This right here, if you put John Hancock as a spokesman and you gotta give him money, don't get me wrong, you're gonna have to pay, right? <laughs> it's gonna cost you, right? But let's just give a good round figure for 100 G's, that's more than the than the man makes in a year, almost double probably, right? So what is that going to do for you? It's going to give you a spokesperson that will not be criticized by the other e-beggars. Because what happened? Why don't you think this man, after all these years, has been totally called out? Right? When it comes to this issue, well, he's trying, you know, this and that and the other. And if you dare criticize him, right, all of a sudden, you're a hater, right? But that will give you the perfect cover. Pat and Ian certainly are not going to criticize him. Look, guys, let's look at us, right, as the skeptics and see what what we what we missed. You know, when it comes to the performance of the console, everybody that played the console was pretty much questioned, right? As far as lag, the performance, you know, questioned their their questioning their their uh, honesty when it came to the review. We had so much fun playing it. You know, we were having fun next to each other. We were standing right next to each other. All of us laughing. There is steak with that sizzle. I'm here to tell you. I'm one of the few people who have actually played it. I saw Moon Patrol and I actually really love Moon Patrol, the arcade version. Right, yeah. So I was like, oh, I gotta play that. But you know who didn't get questioned? The Metal Jesus crew, right? 
if there's anybody that would have noticed lagged or would have noticed that they weren't playing on original hardware if they they probably know that they weren't playing on original hardware it's probably a computer souped up right or a retro pipe whatever the hell it was these guys knew right but when even even John Riggs what happens when John Riggs is mentioned for example in the CU podcast uh, when talking about the Miko but it needs to say I don't know I only want to say this I don't want to talk about this right because there is no Patreon pimp on Patreon pimp crime. <laughs> Don't talk about my shit. I'm not talking about yours. You know what I'm saying? Right? So that would shield you. Right? That's the mistake Tommy made. Instead of going through all these smaller YouTubers, he should have broke out the checkbook. But we know he doesn't like to spend money, right? He'd rather the fans do work for free and not pay him while his buddy's making 150 grand for absolutely doing nothing. And before any of the Patreon pimp fat boys stop by and leave comments, let me tell you this. Their opinions are for sale, right? Let me remind you, Shadow Legends, Cereal, Hand Creams, right? Ball Washers. But if you would have paid those 150 grand, right, to these YouTubers, everybody would have been praising them. There would have been excuses. And you know what? <laughs> John Hancock is already trained. He's already trained, right? If, if, there, if there's a delay happen, the delay happens again, he knows exactly what to say. And, you know, the big news is it did get delayed. I actually think this is a really good move. I actually think this is a really good move. And trust me, all these other companies that are thinking about launching products are seeing exactly what's going on here, right? If YouTubers start questioning them, if they don't respond in the right manner, or if they have something to hide, or if it is just a fundraiser to raise funds, they're going to be exposed. So what's the next project, you know, going to do? Exactly that. If they're smart. If they're smart, they're going to go to all these different people that would criticize them, right? And like Rich at Review Tech said, remember he was talking about a partnership, right? Like a sponsorship for these guys. And if there's any progress, you make it content. Criticizing smaller creators while not criticizing larger ones is pretty hypocritical, don't you think? Since the larger ones are the ones that are gonna have the most influence on the public and probably are more responsible for people investing because they trust them, because they've been around for so long and because their viewership is so much larger. In television, that's free advice for you. Take it, because we wanna keep this thing going and going and going and John Hancock we ain't forgot about you where's the museum <laughs> make it virtual just make it a virtual museum at this point right you took all the money have you paid all the taxes I mean those, those things go up in value you know I have to declare all this on my taxes because you know, I wonder how that works so well if you put it in a museum I'll catch you on the next one take care New videos every Monday and Sunday. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click that notification bell, and remember, never ever be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.